Let me show you how to turn cover art into beautiful Spotify canvas videos in literally just seconds. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. And in this video, I wanna show you three AI tools that I've been experimenting with recently to turn my static cover art into beautiful videos that I can upload as a Spotify canvas in order to support my releases. I'm in Spotify for artists right now. And just to show you an example here on the left side, you can see my most recent release. It's called I'll Be There. And I created this release with this particular cover art that is a female on the beach by the ocean and then I use the AI tools to turn that static image into the video that you see on the right side that became the Spotify canvas for this release. Now you might be wondering, John, why even invest the time? Why dealing with the Spotify canvas? I usually just run ads for my music or I try to get it on playlists. That's how I'm dealing with music promotion. And so while Spotify canvas in and of itself is not gonna promote your music, it does have benefits to your results on Spotify. So if I come over here, to Spotify for artists, there's this article about Spotify Canvas. And what they describe in this article is that they tested a group of releases without Canvas to a group of releases with Canvas, and they noticed the following differences. So when listeners see a Canvas, they are more likely to keep streaming, plus 5% on average versus control group, share the track, plus 145%, add to their playlist, plus 20%, save the track plus 1.4% and visit your profile page as an artist plus 9%. So according to Spotify, just having a canvas on your track is gonna give you lift on streams, on shares, on playlist ads, on track saves, and even on visits to your artist profile. Now, the thing that held me back from doing a canvas for every one of my releases in the past is that oftentimes I didn't have any video footage that I could use with the canvas. But there's been a new influx of AI tools that do a fantastic job at taking static images and turning them into videos that I rediscovered the power of Spotify Canvas and how easy it is to put those together. So. In this video, I wanna share with you three tools that I've been experimenting with and that I love, that I found really powerful. You really only need one of those. The reason why I'm showing you all three is just that they all do videos slightly differently. And by knowing all three, you can pick the one that does the best job for your cover art. And with that said, let's jump right in. So first of all, I wanna show you where the image for this release came from. So I'll be there. This image that you see here is something that I created with Mid Journey. You can see the prompt here and Mid Journey created this image for me. But Mid Journey only does images. Mid Journey doesn't do video at the moment. So in order to turn this image into a video, I had to use different types of tools. And the first tool I wanna show you here is called Gen2 and it's by Runway ML. You can sign up for a free trial if you go to runwayml.com and then it's remarkably easy. This is your homepage here and literally all you gotta do is say, start with an image and then drag and drop the image that you wanna turn into a video into Gen 2. Here's the image and by default, it's gonna generate four seconds of video. So all you gotta do is click here and then you're gonna go into the queue and it's gonna take a couple seconds, maybe a few minutes for this video to process. That's it, it's done, so let's check it out. Awesome, this blows me away every time I see it. You can see the hair moving, you can see the waves moving and splashing in the background. It looks like there's another person in the water here. Even the sun coming in here, this just looks amazing. So that's the video you can do with Gen 2. Now this is four seconds only. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save those four seconds, I'm gonna download this. But what you can do, you can also extend it by four seconds. So Gen 2 has a 16 second limit. So whenever you like a clip, you can add four seconds, add four seconds and add four seconds. For Spotify Canvas, the video needs to be between three seconds and eight seconds. So at eight seconds, we're already at a max, but I'm gonna do this here and increase the length of the video. All right, it's done. So now here's our eight second video. Okay, nice. Now, as you extend these videos and the video gets further away from the original image that saw the first frame of the video, 
the more abstract the results usually get. So here, the second half of the video looks a little bit cartoonish to me. The hair is using some of the photorealism, I feel like. But that's why I exported the first four seconds and downloaded that as a video first. So I have those two to play with. So I'm also gonna download this. And then I'm gonna see when I start cropping this, whether the four second or the eight second video is gonna be better here. But that's just the first tool. Now I'm gonna show you the second tool, which is from Pika Labs. And Picolabs has an image to video generator that runs on Discord. You can join the beta completely for free right now. And then what you'll see is the typical Discord interface where there's a couple of different servers that you use to generate videos. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come in and we're gonna type animate. And I'm gonna select this one here and I get prompted to upload the video that I want to animate. So I'm dropping the video over here. I'm not gonna add any prompts here. You could technically try to send Pika in a specific direction about what you wanted to animate, but I'm just gonna go with the default here and click enter and let it render this video for us. All right, it's done. So let's check out this video here. So Pika generates three second videos and you can see again, the hair is animated here. And in the background, we'll see the waves splashing down. There isn't a whole lot of camera movement here, but this still does look pretty good considering that it's generated off of a still image. So let me download this one as well. And now let me show you the third tool, which is the layer pix converter. So what this does, I'll show you, you drag the image in here and it analyzes the depth in the image and creates a simple camera movement relative to the different elements in the picture. And this is something you can control here on the right side. So the animation style here, it's this perspective loop. You could have it go up and down, actually do like the loop animation length. We can make this a little bit longer. So I'm gonna increase this one, the amount of motion, I'd say more is more here. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, focus point, edge dilation, all of this looks pretty good to me. So if you've created a loop that you like, all you gotta do is here, export this. And if you sign up for a free account, it gives you a bunch of credits. So I'm gonna spend 20 credits right now on downloading this MP4. So if you followed along, you now have three videos that you could use in order to turn your cover art into a canvas on Spotify to help your music to get more streams, more shares, more playlist ads, more Spotify profile visits, and what have you. For me, and in my case, I think that the very first video that came out of Gen 2 by Runway ML, that was the winner. That was the one that had camera movement, it animated the hair, it animated the person on the beach. I love what it did with the waves. So to me, that was the most successful one. And that's the one that I would turn into a Spotify canvas. Now there's a last step missing that I wanna show you, which is that the videos that we generated here have the same aspect ratio as the cover art, meaning they are square. But Spotify canvas is a nine to 16 format. So how are we gonna do that? And for this, I like to use CapCut. It's a free video editor. It comes as an app that you can use on your phone and you can also download a version for your laptop. That's what I've done. So I'm gonna show you the version on my Mac. Here it is, that's what it looks like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the video that we rendered from Gen 2. That's the one here, let me play it one more time. That's the four second version. And that's the one I'm gonna use. So all I'm gonna do is drag this to the timeline down here. And then I can change the ratio of the video. I'm gonna change this to nine by 16. Now that automatically shrunk the video down, but all I'm gonna do is grab a corner here and scale it back to full size. If I play it now, this is what it looks like. I can move this a little bit around if I want her to be a little bit more center. And that looks great. So all that's left to do is export this as a new MP4 and then upload it into Spotify for artists as a new canvas. And that's how easy it is these days to turn aesthetic cover art into a beautiful video for Spotify canvas. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe and the bell icon below so you can catch more videos like this from me on YouTube on how to get your music heard on Spotify. And if you look looking to grow real listeners, real streams, and real fans fast on Spotify, then I have something for you that I think you'll really like. It's called the Spotify Growth Switch, and here's a little more about it.
Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Growth Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans, and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Growth Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Growth Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.